Yeah, and that, that's that's some really good points. And and you know when you're when you're bidding on a project, you can you don't want to necessarily you don't necessarily have to be the lowest price. No. I mean, you, you definitely you know if someone comes to me and you know I'm talking to them for maybe this is the first time we're talking, you know, and I'll ask them about their pricing. And you know what? What's their what do they see? What's their pricing structure going to going to look like? And they say, well, they're going to be the lowest price. I'll shut I'll shut my laptop and say, well, we're already out of business. Yep. So because that's that's not how you develop pricing. And if you're bidding on it on a contract with with the government, um, with the federal government, with the state, municip- municipality, um, you need to price that as as it's going to provide a profit for you. Uh, yeah. Right. I mean, it has to. And, and, you know, if, if they, if it's rejected, you know, if you don't get it, then that's not yours. It, it's the same thing. I, you know, I tell, I tell clients to do commercial work. If this, for instance, if, if, you know, if you're providing a service and you're $125 an hour and, you know, and that that's been developed for your business plan and for your financial projections and that's what that's what your your strategy is based on. Your base it's based on twenty five dollars. The the first you know as soon as you go below that number, your your business your strategy is out the window. So if you're bidding on a project or you're offering even commercially you're offering a a a a service, and they somebody says well they're only going to pay a hundred, that's not your customer. Your customer pays one hundred twenty five dollars an hour, and it's the same thing with with when you're bidding on on government contract. Is this is my pricing? You know, you're you're not gonna you're not gonna cut payroll. I mean, you're not gonna all of a sudden say, well, you know, I can't pay you this much this week because we're bidding on this job, and you don't want to let people go. You're built your organization, and you if you've done a good job, you have the right organization. You can do the project, and you know, we 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 would bid on projects, and and I was working on. I guess I can use the example. Um, we were on the uh, the Lincoln Financial Center in Philadelphia, so we were documenting the building of that of the uh, of that stadium. So we were inside, we're outside, and we got a call. I actually I received the call. Uh, on a on a Thursday or a Friday, and they said we need you to come in and bring your crews, and we need you to film all of the piping that has been completed because they were letting the plumbers go, and they wanted to document exactly what was done at that point because they weren't keeping up with the rest of the of the project, and so they're you know so that's an example of you know, that we're on this project. Now that was an extra, also an extra charge that we were able to give because it was an extra day, actually an extra weekend of work. 